Okay, so this is where I'm going to be talking about cataclysms because my dumbass didn't record anything. Sorry. What's up, everybody? Griever here, and yeah, I'm going to be talking about my uh, experience at Cataclysm 12, which took place on June 5th here in uh, the wonderful state of New Jersey. Uh, it was a local event hosted by the NYCNO, and who will also actually be hosting APOC 2021 at the same venue. So that is honestly going to be something I'm looking forward to because I had so much fun getting back out on the field, it was, it was ridiculous. So, first and foremost, I do want to say thank you to Ness, Van, Igor, and all the other admins for, from the NYC NO who uh, put on and hosted this event. Uh, it was, like I said, it was a ton of fun. Uh, this was my first event since APOC 2019, so... It was really, really good to get back out into the field, and I'm not going to lie, I think Saturday was probably the most rounds I have run in years, and I don't mean that as a stupid joke because it's been two years since I've like done any of this. No, I literally mean, in years, this is the most I have played at an event, and it was, again, just a ton of fun. Um, I'm going to go over the, what took, what transpired during the event, then I'll go into like, you know, the, the joys that it brought me. So the day started off with a round of flag push, which is essentially 315, just with the added caveat of there's a flag set in the center of the field and... Unless one team or another is completely eliminated, the premise is actually to push the flag to uh, one spawn point or the other. So, but, I mean, it essentially turned into a 315 game. Uh, we played Carpe, we played VIP, uh, we played a King of the Hill. I think Ness called it something else, but I honestly, I can't remember what it was. But essentially, it was King of the Hill. Uh... It was just a lot of fun. Um, the admins had rounds going very regularly throughout the day, uh, with the exception of, obviously, the lunch break. But, yeah, once rounds actually started up, uh, they were very consistent on getting them started, getting them going, uh, with enough time in between, obviously, so that, you know, because it was humid and hot as anything to really just, like, give us a chance to catch our breath, cool off for a little bit, get some fluids in us, and then get back out onto the field. So, yeah, I stayed pretty regular in matches really kind of up until lunch, which usually at that point in the day for me, regardless of how much I want to play, it's usually the, okay, let's slow it down a bit, but... Yeah, it was a ton of fun, and I have to say, it was interesting also in the fact that I saw my first ever nerf tank. So, yeah, a father-son uh, team, uh, Tom and TJ, wound up actually bringing this with them. It was a power wheel and a what was at one point an inflatable tank. Um, draped over a wooden frame that they had built together, and yeah, it was a it was a nerf tank. It was like, oh my god, that was that was honestly one of the coolest things I had seen in a long time. Uh, and also, I'll link their Instagram down below. Uh, go check him out because he does have actual footage of the tank moving and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, also, I am kind of getting into it a little already bit into the video, but I do apologize. I don't have any footage. I actually went with my camera, not just this camera, but also my GoPro, which I 
actually remember to pack. I also had my phone with me, so I had like essentially three cameras with me, but I didn't record anything. And only reason being is because um, there was a, uh, a fellow nerfer there who was actually recording a ton of stuff. Um, I believe I was told his name was Gotham. And if I mispronounce it, I do apologize. Um, I believe that is the name that was given to me. Uh, he was recording a ton of stuff, taking tons of pictures. Um, very reminiscent of uh, Zorn and uh, Deadshot, honestly. Um, but yeah, he was recording a lot of stuff. And I didn't want to kind of get in his way because I didn't know if this was like his thing, like the official videographer or something like that. But at the end of the day, when I had mentioned that, I was told, no, 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 you can record, it's fine, go ahead. So, yeah, so I will have footage for APOC 2021, I promise there will be that. Um, yeah, so, but the event itself was a blast. It was hot, it was humid, thankfully it wasn't very buggy, uh, but I did have bug spray, so thank God for that. But yeah, it was a ton of fun to get back out into the field. But also, besides the fun of actually getting to nerf and all of that, you know, more than half of the fun is getting to see old friends like Builder BB and uh, DX and Carlos. And it was great seeing everybody again. Um, again, it's been a while since we all got to really, like, hang out and chat, so... It was really great to see everyone, and it was also really great to actually uh, meet a bunch of new people as well. Um, so, shout-outs to Dom and Shana. It was a, it was wonderful meeting you guys. Uh, Lawrence, it was great getting to hang out with you and meet you as well. Uh, yeah, it was a ton. It was a ton of fun. It was also nice to kind of reacquaint myself with people that I met before and we didn't realize we knew each other. Um, but, and that person just happens to be Harrison from Shellington Arms. Uh, yeah, because I had, uh, I wanted to just, you know, kind of spread the news of our channel. And I had uh, given him one of uh, my cards along with uh, one of our stickers and decals. And he presented me back with a wonderful little 3d printed hammer shot where i'm like i think i have one of these and he goes oh, i gave you one at apoc 2019 and i'm like oh, you did <laughs> so that was a fun little moment and all but also what was even more fun at that point was he had one of the lever action shell ejecting blasters with him and i finally got to play with one and i want one so bad now I think it was a ton of fun to use. I love it. I want one so bad. As soon as I have the money, I'm getting in touch with Harrison. I am so ordering one. Oh, God. But, yeah. So, it was just a blast. Also, um, and I believe this was actually the first time we did meet in person. We have talked online for quite some time. Uh, but I finally got to meet uh, Foam Shepherd, uh, also known as Ben Lamb, and he was also kind enough to get this wonderful action shot of me, which is also the thumbnail. So thank you very much for grabbing this during uh, the King of the Hill round. And oh, uh, before I get into the last part of this, I wanted to say uh, if anyone did happen to catch my live stream, which, let's face it, wasn't, wasn't many, but, you know, if you did show up, I do appreciate it, thank you. Uh, maybe I may start live streaming more in the summer, I don't know. Um, if it's if it's something you guys want, please let me know. Uh, but I did throw out to anyone who was on the live stream of what to bring with me. So, I did bring the Nexus, and I did bring my Plus Bow, and y'all voted between the Dart Zone Pro 1.1 or my Porkchop Express Retaliator, and you guys voted for the Retaliator. And I apologize greatly because I didn't use it because I forgot the one small caveat with the uh, night vision scope. 
yes, it does work in normal light because it does have that setting. However, in bright sunlight, it completely and totally blows out the camera. And it is near impossible to see anything through it unless it's very shaded and overcast. And unfortunately, there was a lot of open space in the fields we were playing with. So it really wasn't working out. So I, I'm sorry. If next time I'll remember to bring an alternate uh, site for it. But, and also surprisingly enough, since I actually got this thing, this was the first Nerf War event that I went to that I actually did not use my plus bow. I showed it off. A lot of people were intrigued by it because, I, let's be honest, there's not many DIY blasters left. Or at least this type of DIY blaster left. So a lot of people were intrigued by it. I got to show it off uh, to a couple of people who were kind of gobsmacked, which it's, it's it, it warms the heart to know that it still works like that. But yeah, I never ran it. I only ran my Nexus Pro. And... I learned two things about it. One, with all of the upgrades that I've done to it over the last year or so, um, it is definitely very field worthy. It worked beautifully. Did not have one problem with it whatsoever. Two, I need a scar for it because that thing was, despite, you know, it still going pretty well and pretty solid for quite some time. It wasn't the most accurate thing, let's put it that way. So, I actually did order a scar from Out of Darts along with a muzzle to cover it. So, that should be arriving by the end of the week, hopefully. Um, actually, I think it will be arriving when this video goes up. So, But yeah, I have that coming, and believe me, it is sorely needed for that thing. Uh, but speaking of blasters... Um, First and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to Carlos because unfortunately he's not going to be nerfing with us at least up here for quite some time because congratulations, buddy, you on your new job. Um, but it sucks that you have to move for it. Um, I mean, we all do what we need to for family. That's first and foremost with anything. Um, he is moving down south. I am not going to say exactly where because I don't know if he wants that information out or not. Uh, but I will just say this because he was kind of cleaning house a little bit before he left. Um, not taking much with him in regards to hobby stuff. But if you do decide to pick the hobby back up and you find yourself an event and happen to be going up against a certain nerf vampire. If you tag him out, let him know the North remembers. Why not? <laughs> I actually told him at the war to say this is for the North, but I, I started thinking about it. I think the North remembers works a lot better. But, I, you know, it is what... <laughs> Sorry, I just got silly there for a minute. But, yeah, uh... Carlos, it has always been fun hanging out with you at one of these, at, at these events. Uh, I mean, we're still friends on Facebook, so, I mean, we'll still be keeping in touch. It just sucks. I, it's I'm, it's going to be a while before we get to actually hang out again. Um, but also, I have to say thank you again. Words do not do justice for the amount of thanks that I truly feel for this, because... After one of the rounds, he handed me something, and he said, take it. And I kind of looked at him, and I just said, bullshit. And he goes, no, I want you to have this. And I was completely speechless, because he hands me this. And, again... I, I'm still speechless at the fact that I now have this. And I really, really didn't know what to say. And then he hands me a spray combination and an extra barrel for it. But yeah, I now have a U, a U caliber. And I mean, this is very, very nice. 
Um, I mean, again, words don't do the amount of thanks and just humbleness that this truly, you know, I, I, I will cherish this. And any tags I get with this at APOC, it's for you, buddy. This is going to be, every anytime I take somebody out, I'm just going to go, this is for Carlos! So, you'll hear that maybe like once or twice because I'm still terrible at this. But, yeah, again, Carlos, thank you so much for that. But, and, you know what, for the shout out, here's a nice picture of me, Brian, Carlos, and Will at the end of the night. So, hope things treat you well, you know, in your new, in your new ventures and all, so, but that is actually where I'm going to end it for this video, so if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, uh, please throw us a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below if you were at Cataclysm or if you're going to be attending APOC, um, if so, please stop by, say hi, um, I always love meeting people, so I'm, I'm very much an extrovert, so the last year and a half has really been killing me, uh, <laughs> But, yeah, and, ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Later.